Experts say that if student loan forgiveness is going to happen, it will likely be before the midterm elections. Here's what else could be in store for the millions of Americans with education debt. Welcome to BusinessSnap.net. My name is Michael. By February, the U.S. Department of Education will resume payments for millions of Americans who owe money on their education. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, they have been allowed to postpone their payments for over two years. However, the bill resumption could be just one of many changes in store for borrowers. According to experts, these are some of the other major potential breakthroughs in the horizon. About loan cancellation, although Democrats have not included student loan forgiveness in the enormous spending plan presently being debated in Congress. The relief might come from separate legislation or by executive action by President Joe Biden. Biden has said that he's in support of canceling $10,000 of the loans for all, but some Democrats continue to pressure him to raise that amount to $50,000. According to higher education expert Mark Kantrowitz, if all federal student loan holders had $10,000 of their debt forgiven, the country's outstanding education debt would reduce to about $1.3 trillion, down from $1.7 trillion. Furthermore, 33% of federal student loan debtors, or 14.4 million people, would have their amounts reset to zero. Canceling all borrowers' loans for $50,000, on the other hand, would reduce the country's outstanding student loan debt amount to $700 billion, down from $1.7 trillion. Meanwhile, the $50,000 plan would forgive all federal student loan debt for 80% of debtors, or 36 million people. Borrowers may soon get an answer to years of speculation about loan forgiveness. If broad student loan forgiveness will occur, it should be soon, as Democrats will want to see it implemented before the midterm elections, Kantrowitz said. Regarding added bankruptcy options. The Fresh Start Through Bankruptcy Act, which Congress proposed this year, would allow federal student loan borrowers to discharge their debt through bankruptcy after a decade. The bill enjoys bipartisan support. In bankruptcy, it is nearly hard to erase your school loans. About new servicers. Now there are three companies that serviced federal student loans, Navian, the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency, also known as FedLoan, and Granite State. All recently announced that they'd be ending their relationship with the government. As a result, according to Kantrowitz, around 16 million debtors will have to deal with a different company by the time payments begin or shortly following. Double-check that your servicer has your current contact information so that you receive all the notices about the upcoming change, experts say. Borrowers who are affected should receive repeated notifications, according to Scott Buchanan, executive director of the Student Loan Servicing Alliance a trade group for federal student loan servicers. If you submit a payment to your previous servicer by mistake in February, he says the money should be transferred to your new one. Regarding grace period. Although federal student loan bills will technically be due again in February, borrowers may have some more time. According to Kantrowitz, the Education Department is considering granting borrowers a three-month grace period during which late payments will not be reported as delinquent to credit bureaus and the borrowers will be automatically placed in forbearance. However, while interest on federal student loans has been postponed during the payment delay, it will resume in February. Update about help with lower payments. Borrowers who have been affected by the coronavirus pandemic may choose to participate in one of the government's income-driven repayment options when their bills resume. A person's payment is capped at a percentage of their income under these arrangements, and some monthly obligations are as low as $0. Borrowers are normally required to present evidence to establish their family wages and size, However, the Education Department is considering temporarily allowing them to self-certify this information. Let me tell you about a second chance for defaulted borrowers. 
According to Kantrowitz, there is some speculation that the education department may automatically shift more than 7 million student loan borrowers out of default. The federal government of the United States has extensive collection powers over federal debts, including the ability to seize borrowers' tax refunds, earnings, and Social Security benefits. Most recently, advocates have warned that borrowers who have fallen behind may also miss out on the expanded child tax credit, which might be paid out in part as a tax refund. These debtors would be protected from these practices if they were no longer in default. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to get a notification. Business Snap. Finance and Investing Updates.